Hey, welcome back everybody from James D. I know I've been out for a while. Um, basically because I ended up taking this whole thing apart. I thought I was going to have to sell her. And then found out I didn't really have to or want to. So I ended up putting her all back together. And the main reason for the video is I'm going to redo the loop. Now when I put it back together, I just used whatever hose I had laying around. So obviously it's not long enough here or here. And what I'm going to end up doing is I'm going to flip the radiator. I'm going to make it so that the barbs, which are over here now, go over here. Okay. On the inside. And that'll make it so I've got to bring this from out here. I'm going to make it go over here. I'm not going to get a compression fitting because I'm going to have to put one, you know, up here, here, here. And it's just going to add restriction, especially on the CPU block here. Because I'm not one where I can just put one there and have it nowhere else. It's got to match, so I'm not even going to bother. And then once I have the hose from the radiator, it's going to be up in there into the reservoir. I can get rid of this dong hose right here. Because this thing is just, is in, you know, getting in the way of the airflow. And I'm also getting quieter fans too, because those Ultra Kaze, I've heard they're called, those ones just the, oh god, it sounds like a friggin' jet starting up. So, yeah, I'm gonna get some quieter ones with slip streams. Now, the method actually with the WD-40 inside of the ball bearing has worked pretty well. I mean, I've had zero issues with these fans so far. They're pretty damn quiet, too. So, and I'm going to end up reusing the fluid because I just put it in there what, three days ago. So, I'll just pop the hose off of here, let it drain into the bottle, and we'll use it again. Look at this outside. I don't know if you can focus. Look at that. Global warming. Okay. Anyway. <laughs> so yeah, that's basically what I'll be up to is redoing the loop. And we'll see if we can get some good better temperatures. Right now I'm sitting, you know, 4.2 sitting about 23 degrees, which is pretty good, but it is winter. So Alright, well I'll be back when I get a little more progress on this setup. So alright, I'll be back. Okay, here we're back. You can see the work I did. It just looks a lot cleaner in there. You can see this used to be going up here, and then there was that big dong hose that went along here. You can see the barbs aren't there anymore. You can see they're up there. Okay. And then I got this one, which is the coldest fluid coming out of the radiator. I got that going and that cut the size of that down. It was going, you know, all the way across, so it cut off about a foot and a half. So much more airflow in there too. I got all the fans in. Now these are slip streams now. I had the Ultra Kaze fans in there. Somebody told me it was Kaze. And I switched to the slipstream, they're a little quieter. And I only had the Ultra Kazes up to about 60. And they were just, you know, way too loud. And I did the WD-40 as well on the bearings. So, as you can see, I mean, you know, I'll optimize this later. You know, put it in a different spot. I just mainly wanted to see if everything would work. And everything worked out great. Um, still got a little bit of air bubbles to work out, but, you know, it's going okay. Got the side panel on, you can see. So, yeah, everything's going good. We'll see, uh, if it's a little more efficient now. You know, rather than having all that hose and everything. I guess the real test will be when I start gaming. You know, whether it's going to affect the 
the airflow of the the cards. So if you have any questions on how I did this, please write me a comment or a message and I'll be happy to answer. So well thanks for watching and thanks for all your support and and I really, really appreciate it. So alright, till next video guys. Talk later.